Today, we have another episode of Eat and Talk. On today's episode, we're gonna be here at Anthony Jamaican Restaurant. Of course, I'm your host, Abdul Rahman and Ben Muhammad. So let's go inside, let's meet Anthony. I think we also have a little surprise because my good friend Ricardo, the good chef, is also gonna be here today. So, come on inside, let's do Eat and Talk. Eat and Talk, people. Hey, Chef Ricardo, good to see you again. Oh my gosh, how hey, you been? How you I'm been? good, I'm good. And uh, we have Anthony here. Yeah, man. How you doing? Hello. Abdul. Anthony. Nice to meet you. So, so uh, we have our show, this is Eat and Talk. And so what we want to do first, because I know today that this is Chef Ricardo's doing a fusion today for us, the good chef. Good chef, yes. And but, but this is your restaurant, Anthony's Jamaican restaurant. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it, when you started and all those, that good stuff. Well, I started in 2008. Uh, since I was a sales manager of the dealership, I decided to make a move and get out of my comfort zone and do uh, my own business, and here am I today. So, so for all those people out there that want to be an entrepreneur, sometimes you just have to stop doing what you're doing and take a leap of faith. And so, 2008. So this is like six, six, eight, eight years, right? Yeah. That's, that's pretty Nine good, years, good yeah. amount of time. Nine years coming up. Yeah. So this is awesome. So it sounds to me like you collaborate with the good chef over here on Sundays, allow him to come in. But this is a traditional Jamaican restaurant. I see we got Jamaican jerk chicken, jerk wing, jerk pork. And, and business is going well? Excellent. Excellent business. Yeah, okay. So, Chef Ricardo, I see you got your menu. Let me see what I'm gonna order today. You got any recommendations? Man, the number one sandwich is the Mabelli sandwich. Okay. You know, that's, yeah. that's for all the pork lovers. But if you're not a pork lover, we could do that same variation of that sandwich with the jerk chicken. That works really well. Okay, so let's go with that. You want a jerk chicken? Jerk chicken, all right, yeah. With avocado, with fried eggs, so sweet plants, and cheddar cheese, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. All right, we can uh, do that. Yeah, yeah. All right. all right, so we're gonna get the, the food ready, and we're gonna eat that jump joint up. And you know what our goal is today is to get a little bit of yummy yum yum in the tummy tum tum. Eat and talk, y'all. Just finished with my belly. My belly is feeling very happy. <laughs> yummy, yum, yum, in the tummy, tum, tum. And so, um, tell us a little bit about your inspiration behind the Mabelli and the other things on your men menu. All right. Well, three years ago, mm -hmm. um, I started working with the Max Group. Okay. I was working with uh, Max Burger, and I just decided I needed something new. I was tired of working for someone and I kind of want to do my own thing. Right. So I knew Anthony, he was just jokingly sitting around saying, no, oh, actually he want to do a burger. He said he want to do a burger so big that it's bigger than a person's head. Wow. So that's how I came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. First we was calling it the fat boy. And right. I was like, fat boy, yeah, everybody kind of do that. Right. So we just said milk belly. Right. So that's how that whole thing came about. And then I was like, let's just do a fusion. He has a lot of American customers come in and we still got a giant the Jamaican clientele, so I was just like, Jamaican. Right. Fusion. Mm -hmm. And that's how we just started coming about. Playing around with the sandwich, we started building it. Mm -hmm. And here it is today. Um, Wonderful, yeah. So you're here every Sunday. Every Sunday. And so what's your what's your future plan? Like so are you eventually gonna try to get your own space? That's the ultimate goal. Um Anthony got me here to see what it is. I guess, you know, the, in, the, in, the ins and out that I'm not really seeing on a daily basis. Right. Because I'm working so much and I'm moving. Uh, he showed me the numbers, how to do this, you know. Start looking for a spot. Start preparing me, you know, if you if, if, if you see a stove right now at an auction, for $100, you probably don't need it right, right now, but just grab it right now. So he's pretty much putting me in the gear to get to that future, that ultimate goal, that food truck, mm -hmm. that little sit-down restaurant, that little stand, where, wherever it is, right. that's what I'm building towards. That's why I do what I do, and then try to stay creative, try to stay funky with the food, because the food industry changes every day. Right. Today is Monday, you wake up on Tuesday, it's a different ball game. Right. So I have to stay relevant with it, mm -hmm. and try to educate myself, try to go out, eat more, so I can stay afloat. So, so what I'm interested in, it's like mentorship. 
This is like in a way like he's offer, he's providing you with an opportunity to kind of learn without having to kind of go 100% in. Yeah, yeah, he's giving me a little help so I don't got to necessarily go through the back the, the back end when I'm going through the back end. He, right. He, he's my guideline. Yeah. He's been here since 2008. You know, I've been in the restaurant industry myself since 2000. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yes. 2000, let's say 2000, because I was working at AC Peterson, but that was really a summer little kid job. Right. I really started taking it seriously in 2000, so this is what this is what I know. This is what I'm good at. This is this is my comfort zone. I'm very confident in the kitchen. So what what did we miss? What would you say is your top fusion deliciousness that you, I mean, that everybody comes to get on Sunday when they're here? Two things. The belly sandwich. Mm -hmm. And the jerk chicken pasta. Right. The jerk chicken pasta is just a different scenery. A lot of people do jerk chicken pasta, but what they're really doing, they're just throwing the spices and mixing all the stuff up together, but it's more than that. Right. It's, it's, it's me. I, like when I made my jerk chicken pasta, I used the coconut cream. Mm -hmm. See, like coconut is a big thing in Jamaica. Oh, so I'm giving that real authentic, because anytime we make rice and peas or anything kind of like that, we always use the coconut cream. Yeah, man. It kind of cools down the spices a little bit, but Come on, man. jerk chicken pasta, yeah, that's, that's what I should have made. I apologize for that. That's all right. My belly is perfect. Yeah. It's just the pasta. A lot of people like to call it if you don't want that, but it's so good. The onions, the peppers, the, the thyme, the, the, the scotch butter. All right. Yeah, that was easy. Right. Right. That's, those two are the things to make. But I want you to do is go straight to the camera, and I want you to tell people why every Sunday they should come to Anthony Jamaican Restaurant and come see the good chef, my main man, Chef Ricardo, and, and get this good, this, this good food. So here we are. We're located Middle West Turnpike, Anthony's Jamaican Restaurant. Google it up. You will find it real easy. No problem. You can also catch me. I'm on the Facebook, I'm on the Instagram, yeah, the same name on both of them. It's the Good Chef on the Stroll Ricardo. Good Chef on the Stroll Ricardo. D A G O O D on the Stroll Ricardo. That's how you get the touch. Mabelli, the Good Chef. You know, all this movie magic, I had to bring it back, finish my meal. But this is eating talk, y'all. If you have a restaurant, you trying to make something happen in the business? Hit us up and be on our show. Eat and talk. Yummy, yum, yum in your tummy, tum, tum. Peace until next time.